All right, we're here. We're back in the building. I know, I know, BFAM has not done a video for quite a few weeks. Why is that? Because I have been in the trenches, my fellow Ethereans. I've been doing battle out here. In the summertime, spring stroke summer, over here in Londinium, with my business, with my valeting business, it gets hectic. It gets mad hectic. Clients, they love their cars, people. They love their cars. In fact, they love their cars more than they love their cars, meaning the car that's in their, in their physical body. Because in ancient Egypt, we called the spirit car. That's right. That's right. So, your true car is within you. Not these stupid machines, even though I like them, don't get it twisted, right? Not these machines that we jump into every day, for those who have them, and, you know, go to and fro with them. Go from point A to point B, to point C, to point D, etc. You know what I'm saying, right? Some of us, we really love our, these, these machines, these inanimate machines, if that's the word. It's crazy, people. It is absolutely insane. I've got some clients... That I'm telling you right now, they love their cars more than they love themselves and other people. It is insane. But hear what? I ain't complaining. I'm taking that fiat money from them and I'm flipping it into crypto. You don't know. You know how we roll. But before we really get into the jits of the video, you know how you know how we roll, right? You know how BFAM does it. We get down with a bit of music for you. Here we go. Yo. Man. Yeah, they see me on top, and they get mad, cause they can't top. Got me running up the skull when they even matter, cause they can't stop. Yeah, I see them trying to watch me, and they trying to copy, and it's looking sloppy. Yeah, we about to get it poppin', talking to stop, can I get a copy? Yeah, they see me on top, and they get mad, cause they can't top me. Got me running up the skull when it even matter, cause they can't stop me. Yeah, I see them trying to watch me and they trying to copy and it's looking sloppy. Yeah, we about to get it poppin', talking non stop. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy, about to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy, about to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy, about to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy, about to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Why you worried about me, homie? Got your mind on me. Need to get up on your hustle, cause your grind don't eat. Got some hicks on eat. What they taxing with the fee? So we fork the Merkel tree. That a red Urkel Steve. Pack up and leave. Invite everybody to come to the party. Don't bring nothing but your body to the party, baby. We about to party. Yeah, they tripping with the gas. I just wanna swap it, but they want the 40. Heat 2.0. Yeah, they see us coming, but don't get me started. I'm trying to take two, two, four. I told them now we only getting started. I told them, bro, look at the chart. You know Richard Hardest, he gonna go to Hardest. Yeah, you only like he wanted, wanted like he hungry, like a starving artist. Yeah, he about to make a wallet. No, he on the ticket. No, he not a novice. Haters left him all in silence. Came to the chat just to get demolished. Came and got a lot of knowledge. All he wanted from him was a little props. Told him Hex was the one. Got your boy really looking like a prophet. I'm a master of the arts and the economics but without the college. Yeah, they see me on top and they get mad because they can't top me. Got me running up the skull when they even matter because they can't stop me. Yeah, I see them trying to watch me and they trying to copy and it's looking sloppy. Yeah, we about to get it popping. Talking to stop. Can I get a copy? Yeah, they see me on top and they get mad because they can't top me. Got me running up the skull when it even matter because they can't stop me. Yeah, I see them trying to watch me and they trying to copy and it's looking sloppy. Yeah, we about to get it popping. Talking to stop. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy. About to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy. About to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy. About to get a copy. Can I get a copy? Yeah, we about to get a copy. About to get a copy. Can I get a copy? All right, all right, all right, all right. That was from Black Crypto, people. Go and check him out. Go and check out his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, give it a dislike. That's totally down to you. It's freedom out here, people. It's all about freedom. You got your own mind. I got my mind, my, my, my own mind. Everybody's got a mind. I hope so, anyway. Anyway. What has been cracker lacking out here in the crypto industry for the last few weeks, people? It's been crazy. It's been crazy. For now, some of you newbies out here that's new to crypto, this probably is your first cycle, right? And I get it. So, I know. I, I totally understand what you're going through. The pain 
the anguish. You're feeling scared. You're looking at the prices of crypto right now and it's absolutely mucky. Now, one of those people that we have to attribute this these prices to is, is this guy here, Mr. Gary, Gary Gensler. This guy is a beast when it comes to regulating crypto. It's funny because back in 2018, he was a, a lecturer and he was talking about blockchain. Look at this video. Introduction for 15S12 blockchain and money. This is the fall of 2018. MIT open course where this guy was lecturing about blockchain and money people. He was for it. And then he got into, you know, in, with the SEC. And now this guy is a beast. He's hating on crypto. He's taking Binance and Coinbase to court. It's crazy, people. It's crazy. So people are, are, are panicking. They're panicking. Now, when I say Binance, I mean Binance US, not, you know, Binance all around, you know, the others, their, their, their overall main exchange, not that exchange, Binance in the US. Yes, they have a separate exchange only for the US. I know it's crazy, but that's the US for you, people. That's the US for you. But Gary, he's on a warpath, people. He's on a warpath. Go and check out Crypto Casey. She's just done a video two hours ago talking about the crypto markets tanking. Gary Gensler targets crypto. Robin Hood, Robin Hood delisted, delist, delisting cryptos. What's next? I ain't got a clue, people. I ain't got a clue. But as I said, I've said it many times. I'm just chilling and watching the movie. I'm partake, partaking in the game, obviously. But I ain't getting my emotions twisted up in this field because if you do yo there's a high probability you're gonna get wrecked people and i don't want my fellow ethereans to get wrecked i need you to know the rules of this game because the more you know how it works the less you'll be affected by what goes on within the market and i mean that on whether it's going up down or sideways price wise it's very important. It's very important. Because if you don't know the rules of the game, you're going to you're gonna sell or buy at the wrong times, people. At the wrong times, that's not going to be conducive for your portfolio. Not at all. Not at all. What else we got going on in the ecosphere? we got videos out there, again, again, talking about unmasking post chain. The centralized scam exposed. This one is by Crypto Clay. I think he's got clay for his brains. Because when you listen to the video, anybody who knows about Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex, I'm punching holes right through this. I wish I could talk to this guy. I wish I could mean him, mean him could have a you know a one-to-one -one conversation and just punch holes in what he's saying. All the bull crap he's saying. Calling Richard Hart a scammer. It, this is this is ridiculous. This is the same scenario that went down when Hex launched. People, people calling out Richard Hart a scammer. Hex still here. He ain't gone anywhere. Richard Hart is still here. He ain't gone anywhere. It reminds me of a bro another brother I know, Doctor Manakazi York. But I'll get to that. I'll get to that later on down in the video, people. But what my point is, beware. Of the information that you take in out here. Because if you don't have the right knowledge to discern what you're being what you what you're being exposed to, it could get a, a little bit digital for you, people. It could get a little bit digital for you. You could be on the wrong side of the trade, depending on what information you're taking in. Because you may be listening to something, reading something, and thinking, yeah, this is right and exact. This is right. Without even verifying it. Don't listen to hearsay. Don't listen to... Look, don't... In fact, just don't believe anything. Get that belief state out of your mind. Remember, we in crypto. Crypto is all about verifying. It's on the blockchain. It's plain to see for everybody. If you don't know how to do that, learn it. It's, it's very simple, people. It is very simple. You walk around every day with an encyclopedia in your pocket, access 
to the Akashic Records information to the vast universe on different subjects and you're not utilising it properly. Uh, am I missing something? Am I missing something here, people? You need to start utilising this tool in your pocket to your advantage. Stop going on TikTok and tick rocking tick 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 rock, 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 rock. We ain't got time for that. Watching, you know, your 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 favourite celebrity talking crap. We ain't got time for that, people. We ain't got time for that. We right now it's all about acquiring generational wealth for your well being, for your family's well being, for your futures, children, nieces, nephews, etc. For their well being. Remember we remember where you at, people. Remember where you're at. We in the highest appreciating asset class stroke the newest asset class digital assets is the newest asset cl class on this planet people it's only 14 years old and you are here right now that is another reason why the volatility in this market is off the Richter scale when i say the volatility i mean going up or i mean going and going down it's hectic, people. It's hectic. And if you don't know how to hold on to the roller coaster, strap your seatbelt in, and then just enjoy the ride, then you're going to be falling off and getting totally obliterated. And I don't want that for you. No, I don't want that. It's not all about, it's not about that, people. It's not about that. That's why you have to really learn, as I said, the rules of this market how things work within this game if not oh my days it's capers people it's absolutely capers what else has been popping off within this crypto land well we've had a project on post chain rug people's money bank x absolutely rugged people's money people insane insane not now pay attention pay attention not every project that is being built on pulse chain is going to be legit now this is one of them this just you know happened a few days ago and so-called god whale if you don't know who the god whale is this is a a anonymous person within the pulse chain hex ecosphere pulse x ecosphere who has some crazy doll, crazy doll people. No one knows who he or she is. They sacrificed, I think it was eight million dollars worth of hex to bank hex and gone. Pafoof. See you now. Later. Bye bye. Nine foot under. Buried. Deep. Blown up. Landmines. Gone. It's real out here, people. But obviously, they could afford, or that individual could afford to lose that because they got mad, they got mad doll. So, lesson to be learned. Only sacrifice or only invest money within this game that you can afford to lose. Because if something if something goes wrong, gone people. Absolutely, it's it's over, isn't it? It's over. What else has been going on within crypto, within the hex community, post chain, post hex? Well, within this, within our own community, within hex, post chain, and post hexagons, yeah. People, there's been a you know a split between you know Ethereum hex or Pulse Chain hex. Now this is this is absolutely insane from BFAM's point of view. This is just my point of view. Why do I say this? Because it's the same friggin' contract, just on two different networks. That's all. The only difference is is the cost of gas fees on these networks and the APR depending on the price and how many people are staked, etc, etc, etc. That's it, that's it. But there's some people within the Hex ecosphere are siding with either E-Hex, Ethereum Hex or P-Hex, Pulse Chain Hex. <laughs> Yo, blood, it's all Hex. It's all Hex, my man, my lady. It's all, what, what the Hex, man, what the Hex? That's what I'm trying to say. So, I ain't been, as I said, I ain't got time for this crap. I ain't got time for it, my, my fellow Ethereans. I am just accumulating 
DCA in in whatever tokens that I got my BDI on and chilling, waiting for the, the cycle to fully get back into the full phase of this bull market. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's simple as that, people. It's simple as that. I mean, did you think that prices would be going up consistently since the beginning of this year? Hell no. Don't be silly, my fellow Ethereans. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. Because remember, remember Hex was like one point something cents back in, you know, beginning of this year. And it shot up to like 12 cents. And now, Hex on Ethereum is below one cent, people. It's below one cent. Heinous. Absolutely. Woo! And Hex on Postchain is like 1.1 cent the last time I checked. So, but combining, it's about nearly two cents. Because remember, we've had a stock split, what they call in the stock market, a stock split. Now you've got two hexes, if you had hex when the fork happened with Pulse Chain. If you had hex staked or, you know, liquid in your wallet, then now you've got double the amount. So, and remember, this has never happened before, people. So all what we're going through is on precedented so that's why you you got to be calm you got to be calm and just see these cycles out now this is bitcoin right now bitcoin on a monthly looking absolutely ugly if you want high price bitcoin right now on a monthly candles it's looking absolutely mucky people muck 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 mud if we go to the weekly yeah weekly Hey, more downturn. A cool, prob high probability, not guaranteed. Be fair about no, but just my you know observ obs observance from charts over these last few years. I'm saying, <laughs> see this line here? Woo! We're looking about what, 22, 22,000? And if we break that, oh my days, oh my days, we could even go back to 18,000 people. 18, 18, woo, woo, woo. Now, it's great if you want to buy a Bitcoin tree. But it's not if you want Bitcoin to go high. Me, I do not care. As I, I've said it so many times. But you have to be in that position. You, ha you have to always be in a position of strength. Meaning, you are not bothered by what the price does. You have to... How can I say this? You've got to take your mind from looking at the dollar price of these cryptos. Or whatever country you, you, you reside at. Stop looking at the currency. What How much the value in terms of, you know, pounds or dollars or yen, whatever. Stop looking at that. Look at how much of that crypto do you own in your wallet personally? How much Bitcoin do you have? How much Ethereum do you have? How much Hex do you have? Post chain, post Hex, etc, etc, etc. Because the more you have of the good cryptos within this ecosphere when things do turn back around you're going to be sitting pretty it's, it's very simple people it is very very simple but for a lot of us we get too caught up on a lot of the misinformation out here and get swayed by these so-called influencers that you think know more information than you on particular on certain subjects don't be influenced by these influencers, my fellow Ethereans. Learn to use your own mind. I'm not influencer. I don't classify myself as an influencer, YouTube influencer. I couldn't give a monkeys about that. You're lucky I'm doing these videos, in fact. In fact, you're not lucky, right? If I had it my way, I wouldn't be doing these videos, really. But, you know, Natural Nature said, yo, be fam, go do some videos. Help get this information out to the masses yeah help get the masses those people who will listen financially free within this crypto game this new asset class game and also at the same time spit some right knowledge out there spit some right knowledge out there for those people who has an ear let them hear if you don't have an ear then you're not going to hear it it's going to go way over your head and you're like ah, i ain't got time for that and that's fine because each to their own. What else we got cracking? Well, remember, 
Orox platform is there to help you. For those that don't know, just go to getorox.com. They have a free indicator, indicators on there to help you DCA in dollar cost average over time. Or if you're a trader, it has, you know, the Orox indicator for you if you want to use it that way. But it's totally down to you. I just look at it from the weekly or the monthly point of view. If it's a red on a weekly or monthly, you better know what time it is. If it's a green on a weekly or monthly, you better know what time it is. We're going up on a red, we're going down. Simple as that. Simple. Very simple. Simple. High probability, not guaranteed. But hey, we take probability because it's all about probabilities, people. We've got to go out to school. It's all about the maths. Anyway, what else is cracking? What else is cracking out here? Well, 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 well. What's, that, what's happening with the grey? You know what? Since post trade has been out, the Ethereum gas fees, yo, people, we've come down in terms of the gas fees on Ethereum. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Richard Hart even said it himself. That Pulse Chain, he's creating Pulse Chain to alleviate some of the pressure, some of the workload, right? Some of the traffic on the Ethereum network. And boy, I mean, Pulse Chain has been out for what, nearly a month now? Give or take. And right now, the gas fees is only 17 guay. Go on with that, my fellow Ethereans. Woo! Party time, party time. Yeah, so, you know, it's reasonable, people. It's reasonable still to do your thing on Ethereum. I'm doing my thing on both. Because why? There's opportunity on both chains. Both of these chains ain't going nowhere. Blockchain ain't going nowhere. And I'm telling you that, Gary Gensler. Gary! You know what I'm saying? Fun stuff. Anyway, let Gary do his thing. The, the SEC, they only want some money, people. They only want they only want some money from Coinbase and Binance. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. If you didn't know. And control, right? But I told you in a few videos back, I told you it's going to be, we're in, a, we're in a battle stage. We're in a fight stage where they fight us. They fight in crypto right now. Full guns blazing. Guns blazing in America. But there's other countries around the world that are bringing regulations for crypto on the positive side. So it's, you know, it ain't just America, you know, for, for, for all my people in America, I feel, I feel your pain. But for those outside of America, like over here in London, in England, we are right, we are right still. We're doing our thing, we're doing our thing. In fact, some of the regulations I've heard over here, it's conducive for crypto. So, hey, pop champagne, baby. Pop the bottles. Right. Now, I've had a, I've had a bit of trouble, you know, getting some pulse chain, using the bridge. I have, I've got some money stuck on the bridge, people. Stuck on this friggin' bridge. Uh, for a few weeks now, I didn't have time to like sort it out. Been busy, been busy, been busy, right? So guess what I've done? Guess what I've done, people? If you didn't know, OKX is a centralized. That's right. B Fam says centralized exchange. Now let me just let me just make something clear. You know, B Fam is all about the DeFi, right? I'm all about the DeFi, in control of your own stuff. But at the same time, people, at the same time, we have to deal with reality out here is real we will be still using centralized entities in throughout your daily life you use centralized entities don't get it twisted it's about a balancement my act between these two centralized platforms and decentralized platforms and knowing how and when to use them for whatever task that you're dealing with so right now because i've had trouble with the bridge, and I'm used to using bridges, you know, London Bridge, Tower Bridge. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. But no, before, you know, Pulse Chain launched, I, I was using bridges on other protocols, like Hot Protocol, um, Matix Bridge. No problem, no problem, you know. But I've only got tested on Pulse Chain's bridge, and I don't know what happened, people. I don't know what happened. My money's stuck up in the ethers, man. Like, whoa, man, where's my money? Where's my money? Jeez. Ah, lucky it was a tester in it. Lucky, luckily. Uh, uh, please, another thing. When you're using something for the first time, I don't care how expert you are in this game or novice or in between. Do a little test first, just in case something goes wrong. Because the other day, also, I messed up again the other day. I bought some hex on a limit order, right? And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I thought I was buying 70,000 hex on Ethereum network, right? 70,000 people, right? For $100 and something, dollars, $170, I think it was. 
um, two twos, it went through the limit, the limit order went through, and it only bought 70 hex people. I don't know what happened, I don't know if I had my hand slipped and you know, took out a zero. And I spent 170 bucks buying 70 hex, absolutely wrecked city. B fam got wrecked on that one, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Chocolate chip, by the way, that's the way it goes in this game. Because at the end of the day, you have nobody to blame but you in life. You're in control. You're the head honcho. Nobody else. No middleman. You're the boss. You're Rick Ross. <laughs> That's how we roll. So, just letting you know, people. Just letting you know. Be careful out there in this game. So, what I've been doing, I've had a an, ex an account with OKX since 2018. Because when, when I got into the game in 2017, late 2017... I opened about over 10, I signed up with about over 10 plus crypto centralized exchanges. Because at the time, DeFi wasn't really a thing. MetaMask was dead there, right? And um, my my Ether wallet, was, which is a decentralized um, non-custodial wallet, right? They were there. But, you know, it, it was very, very early days, my fellow Ethereans. Very early days. OK, so it was all about literally, not, you know, 90 percent, 95 percent. It was all about centralized exchanges. So that's why I signed up with multiple different exchanges, because you couldn't get I was a proper DJ back then. And you couldn't buy certain, you know, certain tokens and coins were only available on certain exchanges. So that's another reason why I had multiple exchanges signed up with to buy certain different tokens, because I was just de out, you know, testing the water, seeing what works, what don't work, etc. So, um, I've had an account with OKX since 2018. I haven't used it for, you know, a few years, until I got wrecked up, or my money got stuck in the ethers on the Pulse Chain bridge, right? So I was like, cha, OKX just launched Pulse Chain on their, on their team. Yo, you know what time it is? Let me log back in to my account, send some money over there, Boom, buy up some Pulse Chain. Boom, withdraw that straight to my wallet. You treat these centralized exchanges like a toilet. You do your number one, you do your number two, and out the door. Later, bye bye. See you later. Sonara, right? So, Sonara, should I say, right? So, so that's what I've been doing, people. That's what how I have been DCAing. Now, my strategy, the way I get my fiat money onto these onto this platform right now is by going through another centralized platform called Nexo. Now, this was similar to Celsius, right? Nexo is similar to Celsius, but Nexo is still in the game. It's still in the game. So what I do, I use my Monzo account, Monzo card, okay? Send my money from my Monzo card to Nexo, buy up, and then... I transfer the fiat money from from I from the fiat money that I sent from Monzo to Nexo. I convert that on the Nexo platform to USDT because on OKX they only are you can only buy a post chain with USDT. Now, now, so the fee to to transfer my money, my English pounds to Nexo, is zero. Because I'm just doing a bank transfer, right? To the Nexo platform. Boom. When it goes, when it reaches there, boom. I convert those pounds, those British pounds, into USDT, right? On the pole, on the polygon, Matic, right? Slight fee. Just a few pennies. Just a few pennies. Nexo charges for that. Boom. Right? Just a few pennies. From there, I transfer the USDT, which is on Matic. Two O K X. Why am I doing it on Matic? Because the fees are much cheaper than if I was using USDT on Ethereum. Yeah, on Ethereum, you know, to transfer USDT from Nexo on to OKX on the Ethereum network, it's going to cost me like five, seven, eight dollars, depending on the way. Using Matic, oh, people, we're talking a few pennies. Right? Boom. It reaches OKX. I set a limit order using the USDT to buy 
post chain, boom, it goes through, it falls down to my price that I've set, whatever price that is at the time, it fills the order, and when when I want when I want to transfer my PL PLS my post chain from OKX, do you know how much they're charging on OKX to do that, people? Do you know how much they're charging? One thousand six hundred po post chain tokens. What is the price of one thousand post chain tokens right now? Well, I'll tell you this right now. At the time, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see the fee. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. scroll down a bit. In fact, what's going on here? I'll just reload this site for you, and we can see. Hopefully, it will come up. One second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Where is the price, man? One second, people. Anyway, anyway, then, then to cut a long story short. It it will cost you about ten cents, fifteen cents, twenty cents, depending on the price of PLS at the time. And right now, because PLS has gone down just below sacrifice price, so right now, if you're buying Pulse Chain at the moment, you are getting it cheaper than if you sacrificed to Pulse Chain over a year and a half or nearly two years. You're getting it cheaper, people. You are getting it about 10%, 14% cheaper. And on PLS, you're getting it about, I think, 60% below sacrifice price. Absolutely a steal. A steal. A bargain. Bargain bucket. KFC. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. LFG. Let's friggin' go. Right now, hex on Pulse Chain is 0 0.119 cent. Oh, uh, I'm salivating salivating people absolutely insane in the membrane what is taking place right now in the cryptocurrency in terms of dollar price now if i go to hex on ethereum look at the price 0 0.0078 of a cent people it's like oh my days it's nearly half a cent it's just over half a cent people on on ethereum now I'm not telling nobody what to buy, what they should buy, what they should not buy. Hell no. You better do your own thing. If you think Hex on Ethereum is dead, that's down to you. If you think post, Hex on Pulse Chain is the one, that's down to you. Right? If you think Pulse Chain is great, that's down to you. If you think it's crap, that's down to you. Just because you see the prices going down. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is Hex. When it first launched back in December 2019. This is on the daily chart, my fellow Ethereans. What happened when Hex just launched? What happened? What happened? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's going on here? What's going on here? Behave yourself, chart. One second, let's, let's scroll all the way down. Or back, should I say? We're getting it. We're getting it. Just be patient with me. Patient. Oh, yeah. Patience is a serious virtue. If you can cu cultivate your patience in this game you will definitely go a long way within this investment ecosphere called blockchain stock crypto currency or or digital assets i like to say really and truly because that's what they are digital assets you know anyway now look 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 december 2017 hex was like up here three zeros zero point three zeros and a three eight and by the 22nd of december we was at four zeros one five and then it shut up shut down shut up shut down shut up shut down <laughs> yo people people this you know march 2020 it, it, down from from up here people up down up down merry go round if if you feel sick if it's too much for you, if it's too volatile for you, I totally understand. The game ain't for you. Go and play another game that's not too volatile. Go into the, go back to the old, the old boys game. You know the stock markets, shares, etc. Gold, gold and silver. They don't hardly freaking move like a snail. 
right? There's no volatility. <laughs> you know, I don't know how people make money in that market, but it is what it is, right? But I'm only joking. They didn't even make money, but you know, the volatility doesn't even compare to crypto. You ha you have to really have some kahunas, some flaps to like withstand the vol volatility. Kahunas for the men and flaps for the ladies. You know, what I'm talking about my federal theories. You know, what I'm talking about. Anyway, right? So look, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, and then from April 2020, it really went up. It really went up. And then it went down. It went down, people. It went down. We went from April 2020, it was like 0 0.006. And then by June 2020, it was at 0 0.002. So people, these are, these are big swings. I ain't got time to measure the percentage, but what I'm trying to say is these are over 40, 50, 60, 70% swings to the up and downside. If you can't handle it, get off the ride. Please, I don't want you to fall sick and murk up all over the place. Get yourself mucky, right? Ethereum, 2015. 2015, when it came out, it shot up to 8th August. 19 cents. Boom, first day, $2.97. Boom, second day, it dropped down to like 63 cents. The third, fourth day, boom, it shot back up to like $2.10. And then from the 15th of August, boom, all the way down to the 22nd of October, 2015, it hit 40 cents. Heinous, roller coaster ride, Blech, mucky. People vomiting, panicking. Ah, Ethereum's dead. Ah, Ethereum's a scam. This shit coin. I'm, 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 I'm giving up with crypto. That's what people are saying, people. I'm, it's, it's real. It's real out here. And guess what happened? You and I know what Ethereum done throughout the years. If you, if you accumulated, if you just DCA, DCA all the way, baby, for the, for the months and years, you'd be sitting pretty, man. You'd be sitting pretty. Like a kitty, right? Kitty cat, meow, meow, right? So, so, like, so by 2016, we were still, let me see, December 2015, 97 cents, 97 cents, right? By the 14th of March 2016, 14 bucks, 14 bucks, people. So if you was accumulating, yeah, consistently, Throughout this time period, you would have had you would have had crazy amounts of Ethereum at crazy low prices at different price points forty cents you know fifty cents eighty cents etc 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 and then boom fourteen dollars and then boom twenty eighth of April twenty sixteen seven bucks so from fourteen to seven bucks fifty percent haircut meow. People crying, ah, ah, Ethereum's dead, Ethereum's dead. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's real. And then boom, June 2016, 20 bucks. Ethereum's alive. It's the greatest thing on earth. If you're still accumulating at those prices and you're still around in 2017, right? In fact, hold on, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, and then boom, by, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. By December 2016, we was back at $6. Yo, people, this is the heinous volatility of cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter whether it's Ethereum, Bitcoin, wherever you fit. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Get used to the ride. And then boom. From 2016, when it was at December 2016, six, seven bucks. Boom. We hit 50 bucks by March 2017, people. Heinous. And then from there. We took off, it took off like a skyrocket, boom, gone to the stratosphere. By June 2017, we was at 395 bucks. Now, you would only be able to be smiling like a Cheshire cat if you had conviction. That's the only way you're going to get through this thing here. If you had conviction. And you DCA'd and you took some profit here and there, but you still had a, a substantial amount of Ethereum. 
to carry you along the way. And by the end of 2017, you were sitting so pretty that you thought you was in another universe. Because by 20, by the first month of 2018, you was at $1,500 for one Ethereum. $1,500 for one Ethereum, my fellow Ethereans. Heinous gains, party time, popping champagne, buying a yacht, buying your favourite sports car, buying a mansion, swimming pool, sports, sports room, everything, games room, everything, popping off, buying your whole family yards. People, this is where we at. With Pulse Chain, we at the beginning of Ethereum again, but a better version of Ethereum. Now, I'm not saying Pulse Chain is going to hit $1,500 in, you know, four or five years. I ain't saying that. But what I'm saying is, from the prices that we're at with Pulse Chain and Pulse X, it's going to do some crazy, crazy return on your money. 50 times, 100 times, 200, 300, 500. Each plus each Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. But you're only going to get that if you hold on DCA and don't over leverage yourself in this game. And don't listen to the crap from some of these stupid people out here telling you that Richard Hart is a scammer. Because right, you see me, B fam, I'll stand firm for Richard Hart. Because I know he ain't a scammer. I've been watching this guy since 2017. You're going to tell me that he's a scammer? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. So, be firm. Be hardcore in your conviction. So when the when the hurricane is blowing, when the tornado is blowing, you stand firm, my fellow Ethereans. Nothing can move you. Nothing can move you from your thing. You're on this thing. Because you know where this thing is going. Don't listen to these stupid people. This guy here, Crypto Clay. And other people like Gary Gensler. Hey, Gary. Another clown from the SEC. Just looking dull, as I said, people. Just looking money. Right? Trying to scare people. <laughs> Blockchain's dead. Crypto's dead. You're always going to get that stupid people. You, you always get stupid people. Ah, you human beings. Some of you human beings. Are, ah, it, it blows my mind. It blows BFAM's mind out here. I don't get it sometimes. But I do and I don't. You know. So. What we saying? Post, check, post X is like 60-70% down from its sack rate. Post Chain is like 13% give or take down from its sack rate. Oof, I think it's a bargain to me. Now that's just my perspective. Just my perspective. That's all. That's all. So, what else have I been doing for the last few weeks? Guess what? A friend of mine gave me... I was going to buy this book, but he gave me the book. It said, Lightning from the East, the rise, incline, and continuous rise of Dr. Malachi Z. York. You see this guy here? When it comes to big time, how can I say, um, important black leaders within our community, we've had many. Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X. You know, enough, enough of them, enough of them people. Those are well-known ones. Clowns 13X. Who else? Martin Luther King. Noble Drew Alley. Loads of real great men and women within our nation. Trying to uplift, you know, black people's mind, Nubian's mind, African people's mind, etc. And others. But this man here? Yo, man. Jeez. If you don't know who this man is, I strongly advise you to go and seek this book out. You can get it on Amazon. I'm just a few pages into the book. But I'm learning stuff that I've never knew about this guy. And I've been walking or reading his stuff since 1999. In fact, since 1993, the first time I came across his info. But really and truly... Really getting into 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 the nooks and crannies since 1999, and I ain't looked back with his stuff, with all the books that he's written. I have I have Bfam has not looked back. And what people say that he is some clowns out there, just like there's clowns saying stuff about Richard Hart, that's totally untrue. The same thing 
They talk about Dr. Malachi Z. York. That he's this, that he's that. He's a scammer. He's a, pe he's a pedophile. He's just, you know, he's done this. He's, he's a rapist. Stupid, stupid people. No evidence. Just hearsay and crappy talk. Belief. People that hate him. Just like people that hate Richard Hart for what he's doing. People hate on this guy here. And this guy's in, he's been in jail for 20 years. This is insane. And you've got some people out there, Chucky, Chorgan, Chucky Cheese, Chuck Morgan out there. There's one guy called Chuck Morgan. For the last 20 years, all he does is videos to defame this guy's character. It's crazy to me. I swear he's an agent. He's been paid by the FBI and the CIA. I'm telling you people, it's heinous out here within this black community. My people. But all this man has ever wanted is to raise up people's intellect. Not just black people of the planet Earth, but all people of the planet Earth. But obviously, he's going to come to his own first and foremost because he's black. <laughs> right? He ain't going to go to the Chinese. He ain't going to go to the Caucasians first. He ain't Caucasian. He ain't Chinese. He's a black man. He's an African man. So he's going to come to his people first and say, yo, this is what time it is. And that's what he's been doing since the 1960s, my fellow Ethereans. And if you don't know, then it's time to know, especially if you are of African descent. Because it's very vital for yourself to know and your children to know. Because it's a new day and time right now, people. It's a new day and time. It's wake up time. Someone's here to slap you up in your face and get a new mind. Yeah? Anyway, if you go onto Wikipedia, Wikipedia, right? This is the stuff that, if you type in Dr. Malachi Z York, it doesn't even come up. It comes up Dwight York. Like, Yo, that's not his name. But this type of misinformation, that's not out there, people. Look, Dwight York, that's not his name. Right? Also known as Dr. Malachi Z York. And guess what it says? I, right? It's an American criminal. Mm. Black supremacist. Pedophile. Child molester. Yo, yo, people, this is insane. Criminal, black supremacist, paedophile, child molester. All these four statements are pure, undiluted lies. Now, I would know that because I've been watching, following, walking since 1999. Hardcore. But a lot of you out there, some of you may not know that. So when you go and type these names in and you come across this thing, you're like, ugh, huh, I ain't listen to this guy. He's a paedophile. He's a criminal. He's a bad man. Character assassination, people. That's what they try to do on a, a lot on a lot of us. It's, it's terrible. So you really got to dig into the weeds, people. You really got to verify. Just like we in crypto, you verify the transactions on the blockchain to see if it's real or not. Yeah? The same thing with when you're doing research, people. Get the facts. Don't fall for the misinformation out there. Don't fall for that belief state of mind. Get the facts, people. Because remember, experience is your best teacher. If you've been through something, nobody can come and tell you nothing. Because you've been through it. You know. That's when you really know. Because you've been through that particular experience. So, people. Get to know. Get to know who this great being is. And he's still alive. People, A lot of people talk like he's dead. This guy ain't dead. Some of us are still out here on the battlefield trying to, you know, still doing the works to free this man here over 20 years. He's like a, he's like a Nelson Mandela people, undercover. And they want to hush it up. Trying to kill him. And don't let the masses know what's going on. But nah, well, I'm one of the soldiers out here to let you people know what time it is out here. You, you see it? It's real out here, people. Told you. I've got my mud boots on, I've got the full army gear on, got the matic, got the full guns, you know, grenades, ready for war out here. We don't play, we don't play. Well, what else is popping? One important thing that you have to really get in control of within this crypto game, and not just crypto, but in life in general, your, your, your own general life, is your emotions. Emotional energy. If you have the time or if you have the inclination to get your emotions in check, in control, then I would highly suggest that you seek out this book. Actual Fact Number 17 
emotional energy. You can go to nashat.co.uk or just type in emotional energy, a book by Dr. Malachi Z. York, and go and get stuck in people. The description. In this issue of actual fact, emotional energy, Dr. Malachi Z. York, also known as Parnabab Yanun, illustrates in detail about the phenomenon of energy or energy in motion because e motion energy in motion the notion that electrons and other subatomic particles are not in no way solid but are a cluster of energy in addition dr malachi z york also teaches about another important motion of all subatomic particles and that is mutation this all relates to the existence of life, matter, and creation, as the and sorry, as the said are part of the source from which all life forms are from, and are, em, I can't that, that word em fanatically connected in both life and death. This book is a must read people if you really want to get to the secrets of existence and life in general i'm on my knees begging please go and seek out the information from this great being <laughs> because you know back in the ancient egypt they had mystery schools people if you didn't know where people would get initiated into these schools of learning and you would get taught the mysteries of life those who got initiated learn about these stuff here. The average person out there that did not get initiated, they didn't have a clue. So the people that got initiated were, were being taught higher knowledge people. Well, those schools are back right now in 2023. It's been here for a while. Right? If you really want to know the mysteries of life, and, ha and plus how to get more out of life, then you've got to know what true life is, what true existence is. If you don't take the time out to learn that thing there, that's on you. You're doing yourself an injustice. You're doing your family an injustice. You're doing your children an injustice, people. So BFAM is here right now telling you don't do that to yourself. And your loved ones don't do that don't do that take the time out to learn about you because that is one of the most important things that you can do is to learn the mystery of you because the school system ain't going to teach you that college ain't going to teach you that universities are not going to teach you that my fellow theorians the only person that's going to teach you that is you if you seek out the right knowledge for yourself and your well-being and in saying that right now be fam i've got to run because this video has been a bit long <laughs> right but hey my money is coming over from new york city new york shitty i like to say it's, it's grimy grizzly in the 80s it was even more grizzly but she's coming over to londinium for a few months so i'm going to be spending some time a lot of time with her because obviously she's my mother she is my creator no if it wasn't for her man wouldn't be existing in it she my father, right? If it wasn't for them to come together, boom, they are my creators. Forget God, they are my gods, my mum and my dad, okay? So, I'm going to be spending some time, a lot of time with her. So, I won't be doing, you know, a lot, a lot of videos because I'm going to be so busy with mumsy, with business, as I said, it's off the hinges. And I'm just chilling, accumulating post chain and pulse X and hex and other, to other cryptos and just chilling, just chilling people living my best life and learning other things that i have to learn about myself and others so but you will i will be still be doing videos so don't worry don't worry you get you're gonna get updated with certain things as and when right so i gotta love you i gotta leave you sending out div divine love to all out there to the boundless universe you know how we roll out here people you know how we roll keep your head up keep the battle going Stay good, be good, and do good. Because what else is there to do? What, you tell me what else is there to do, people. What else is there to do?
Anyway, peace and love.